Hello, Children's Media Conference. I'm Andrew Douthwaite, Chief Commercial Officer at Dubbit, and I am, well, my avatar is, coming to you from a concert stage with built-in Roblox for a performance by Charlie XCX as part of the Samsung Superstar Galaxy experience. You've likely been hearing about Metaverse events, concerts on the major gaming platforms and in virtual reality, or Metaverse Fashion Week. Dubbit has been building the worlds for these, and we're eager to share our experiences to help you consider whether going live might make sense for your content or brand. First, let me get out of here and meet you in the real world. I just need to find a portal. This is a portal. We use these to connect games and experiences, helping players find something new they might like. Or in this case, to get back home. That's better. Live events aren't just for concerts. We've also seen fashion shows, book launches, and film festivals. Our own Metaverse Gaming League lets players meet up in a particular game at a specific time to play, socialize, and win prizes. So why are artists and brands doing live Metaverse events? First, live is hot, and not just online. The Wiggles, Teletubbies, Paw Patrol, and other massive children's brands are touring with stage shows. Music festivals and brand tours are selling even better than they did pre-pandemic. Publishers are launching new books with live events online. But Willie Sutton said he robbed banks because that's where the money is. These metaverse platforms are where the audience is, and Roblox alone has over 200 million monthly active users. And they're eager for new experiences. In a morning consult poll, 56% of Gen Zers and 61% of millennials expressed interest in attending a concert in the metaverse. So you start with scale. You can get 90,000 people into Wembley Stadium but 33 million people saw Lil Nas X's concert in Roblox. Over 100 million people saw Travis Scott's performance on Fortnite. That audience came without any of the obstacles to producing a concert in real life. No venue costs, no roadies, no sorting out the red M&Ms, and no travel, so it's good for the environment. Compared to the one-way engagement of the web, putting on a concert or book party in the metaverse feels alive and up close. Events can be co-presented with a brand, in the metaverse, traditional advertising isn't very popular. Promotion is all about building brand affinity through immersive play or exploration, which live events do perfectly. And for fans who want to show off that they were there, merchandise. Virtual merchandise. It's a potentially huge revenue stream. It's estimated that Lil Nas X made over $10 million just from sales of Roblox skins and other items. The fans can then take them with them everywhere they go on the platform. Live events also come with real benefits for fans. Your favourite band might not include your town on their tour, but they're worldwide in the metaverse. People who might find it uncomfortable or unsafe to attend a real world event can participate from home. Everyone has a front row seat and there's plenty of room to dance. I asked John, former global head of music, about the business case for holding live events in the metaverse. Virtual concerts have been a massive success at Roblox over the last couple of years. Uh, the fans have really enjoyed them and it's been great to connect artists with their fans in these new and exciting ways uh, creatively and also generating a significant new revenue stream for labels and artists. Um, we've reached more than 100 million people around the world and um, almost the same size now as the physical music industry and that was only with less than 20 shows where the physical live industry is uh, doing more than 17,000 shows in a normal year. So as you can see this market is poised for massive Massive growth and success over the coming years as more forward-looking IP holders and brands, artists uh, are coming together to create these virtual, virtual events for the fans to enjoy. The metaverse is great for live esports as well. Traditionally, esports have always been about spectating, watching the best players do their thing. But with MGL, we flip the script and let everyone play and anyone win with a social element as well. If you don't like playing the game, just come hang out in the chat and you might even win some Robux in some of our random prize draws. Since the metaverse marketing is about being immersed in a brand's world, our take on esports connects the sponsor with the audience in a popular and familiar game. One misconception about the metaverse is that you have to build and maintain a massive gamer experience to have impact. In fact, we've had great success with short-term activations leading up to a live event that parallels something happening in the real world. A TV series debut, an awards ceremony, a product launch. 
Often you don't have to build anything new. These experiences can happen in an existing game or brand's immersion for a win-win situation. Should you create a live event for your content? Here are three things to consider. Are you launching something timely? New music, a real world tour, a new TV special, a series, a book or a product, or even a new game. Would you normally consider a real world live event for the purpose? Do you have a fan base that would love to participate in your content via a live event and is likely to share it with their friends? Or are you looking to reach new potential fans with something unexpected? I should say before signing off that none of this decreases the value and importance of real world live events. There's no substitute for being in the crowd at a festival, seeing your favorite artist, or meeting an author in person. This isn't an either or, it's a yes and. Well, time for me to get back to the portal. I'll see you in the metaverse.